I will just give an introduction and then we will see in next class. So, the main disadvantage of using a uh, stick electrode, MMA electrode is the continuous feeding of electrode. Okay, so, you will have to use a stick and once the stick is consumed and then you need to replace the stick. Okay. So, by replacing stick into another form of electrode, we can make it continuous, the process can be automated. So, that is uh, mainly achieved by a flux code arc welding. The electrode has a core and that core is flux and then we have outside shield made of metal. And in this case, you have a metal core and the flux is outside the metal wire. We can also make the wire electrode in such a way that you have a tube, you fill the tube with the fluxes and tube surface is metal. So, these kind of no electrodes are known as flux code electrodes, right. And uh, by doing so, so tubes can be made into as long as possible and they can also make it into a spiral wound and these electrodes can be continuously fed and we can automate the process, same as GMAW wire, right. So, we can achieve the automation characteristic of GMAW plus the advantage of having a flux controlled shielding gas generation as well as a metal transfer which is achieved in MMAW. So, the both advantages of GMAW and then MMAW can be achieved by using a flux code arc welding electrodes. So, the only difference here is the electrode geometry. So, we have a, a tube and tube is made of a material of our interest and then you can fill the tube with the flux okay. and the flux's composition is same as uh, you have it in the MMAW. In most of the cases are tail based or titanium oxide based uh, fluxes. So, again the process is the same, it can be shielded or it can be self shielded. In self shielded case, so you generate carbon dioxide by burning the fluxes or you can also replace carbon, calcium carbonate completely with it, say other fluxes and you can give with the shielding gas as well, organ shielding is also possible in this case. Okay. So, the schematic is the same as the in a MMAW, only thing is the electrode geometry is different. Okay. So, this is the flux code wire and contact tip and the gas stroke. So, this is your contact tip to the workpiece distance uh, and this is L and you have an, uh, the electrode which is flux code electrode where your flux is inside and then the metal sheath is outside. So, you will strike an arc, if it is self shielded uh, the electrode, the flux burns generate carbon dioxide and then you strike an arc and during this process the flux melts and the liquid droplet transfers and liquid composition has changed based on the flux decomposition and then uh, your oxides would melt and then form a slag on top, right. So, good. So, this is the typical uh, uh, cross section overview of the flux core dark welding consumable. I will bring uh, the, uh, the flux, uh, the electrode next class, okay, uh, and then you can see it yourself. In most of the cases, uh, the flux inside is loosely packed. Okay, it is not compact and burnt like this okay. and then you have a uh, metal shielding outside and you pack the flux inside and the process of making is very simple. So, you have a uh, sheet and then you fill the flux and then fold it and most of the cases the, the, the seam is not connected welded and you have mechanical deformation okay. and then if you tap it, you get the flux out. Okay, so, in most of the cases, it is not really full compact like you see it now over here. Okay. And uh, so, you also minimize the, the martial conduct, the accumulation because the outside is in metal sheet. Okay, so, that is also another advantage and you can also make it uh, as long as possible and you can wound it because it is a tube and the, the flux is not fully compacted, it is not a hard like you, like you see over here. So, it can be made it flexible and you can make a roll and roll can be used as a GMAW filler. 
right it is clear. So, outer the metal sheet is actually uh, uh, in, in the composition of your interest and you can also change the composition by changing the, the flux composition and you add a flux powder and then a flat strip and you yeah, send it in a, in a rolling uh, two rolls and the rolls folds and then you form a complete tube.